Content warning about gender and racial violence. The Kansas City Police Department called rumors of a serial killer targeting black women quote, completely unfounded. Less than a month later, a black woman escaped his dungeon and reported that he had murdered two of her friends who are also black women. His name is Timothy Hazlitt Jr. He's a 39 year old white man. He had kidnapped at least three black women and tortured them in his basement for over a month. A 22 year old black woman finally escaped the bondage after being kidnapped and sexually assaulted for over a month. Court documents report that he had kept her locked in a basement, restrained in handcuffs around her wrists and her ankles, and he whipped her while she was restrained. But pay close attention here. She only escaped because this terrorist had to take his kid to school. Which is even more horrifying because as the person who broke the story, Bishop Caldwell points out, had this young black woman not escaped, we still would not truly know the extent of his horror and terrorism against black women. And sadly, rather than challenge the KCPD's claims, local news media and national media simply accepted them without any issue, forcing these black women to suffer for over a month. It's no accident that black and brown women are only 16% of the population, but comprise 40% of all missing women and girls, more than 100,000 people. This horror could have been stopped and prevented if black women were simply believed. And this, painfully, is what systemic white supremacy in media and law enforcement looks like. It must stop.